Good evening, everybody. I'm Fox 17 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Craig. A look at our forecast. Very windy conditions across the area today. Uh, and you can see our peak wind gusts. Look at this. Norton Shores had a 68 mile per hour gust. The National Weather Service in Grand Rapids, a 63 mile per hour gust. And from Lowell to Allegan to Battle Creek to Holland, uh, wind speeds were at least 50 to 55, even 57 mile per hour. We do have a high wind warning across the entire area. That's that mustard color, uh, north, south, east, and west here across our area, all the way over to Flint and Detroit. That is until 10 p.m. The winds are still going to be up even after 10 p.m., but they will gradually diminish as we come through the overnight hours. These are wind advisories, not quite as serious there in uh, Cass, uh, St. Joe, and Branch counties. These are storm warnings out here in purple over Lake Michigan. These winds are driving immediate lakeshore flooding there uh, for the lakeshore communities and some serious beach and dune erosion because with those storm warnings, we have uh, waves that are up around 12 to 15 feet. So it's driving some high wave action to the erosion as well. We do have some rain showers on live Doppler radar from Grand Rapids down to the south and a few snow showers up there along and north of US 10. We know this is making to the ground and uh, we see some minor accumulations on grassy areas along and north of US 10 outside of our area throughout our West Michigan viewing area this evening and through the early overnight hours. Maybe some light rain or snow showers, but not really expecting any accumulation here. The clearing line is well back to our west. So as we go late tonight into tomorrow morning, we may see some clearing. Temperatures as cool as 34 up there in Big Rapids. We're 40 in Grand Rapids. 40, 42, a popular number right now, but our high temperatures earlier today were well into the 50s. Here's what the forecast model looks like, and we'll pick this up at midnight. These larger, wider numbers are the sustained winds, still at about 15 to 30 miles per hour coming in out of the west. The G numbers represent the gusts, so we're still looking at midnight of some strong winds, but as we go through the overnight hours and into 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, We've got some 10 to 20 mile per hour sustained winds with some gusts around 30, 35. And then as we go through our Monday, we still have a prevalent wind out there. Nothing like it was today, but probably out of the southwest to west at about 10 to 20 miles per hour through the day with some 25 to 30 mile per hour gust. Here's our forecast then for uh, tomorrow. Well, we're talking partly cloudy to partly sunny skies, maybe a afternoon or evening dropper flake out there. Highs only around 42 with the west wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And next three days of our forecast here. Well, we talked about tomorrow. Tuesday, maybe a snow shower, a few flurries. Breezy and cool highs only around 38 degrees. Wednesday, we're talking mid 40s there with some sunshine. And there is another warm up coming. Probably not as good as the last one, but we should be into the 50s by the time we get into Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Our next really good widespread rain chance comes in here for the second part of Saturday, Saturday night and Sunday. We'll talk more forecast details coming up tonight on Fox 17 News at 10 and 11.